हे वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन गाइज तन मई यर फॉर सिंपल स्निपेट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड लेट्स टेक अ क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन टू बी ट्रीज एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ बिफोर यू प्रोसीड आई एम अज्यूमिंग यू गाइज ऑलरेडी नो वॉट इज अ एम वे ट्री वॉट इज अ एम वे सर्च ट्री इफ नॉट जस्ट चेक आउट द प्रीवियस वीडियोज इन दिस डी एस ए कोर्स बिकॉज बी ट्री इज बेसिकली अ टाइप ऑफ एम वे ट्री विच वी विल डिस्कस इन अ मिनट सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज एम वे ट्री एंड एम वे सर्च ट्री फर्स्ट फॉर दोज हूव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट वीडियो यूर गुड टू गो Let's take a quick introduction to this new type of tree called as B tree. Now to start off, a B tree is a self-balancing M-way search tree. So basically, B tree is nothing but a M-way tree. B tree is also a M-way search tree, but it is self-balancing in nature. This keyword is very important because this is what gives it a B tree property. Now, if you don't know what is balancing, we've discussed what is balancing and why we need balancing and how balancing tree data structures make them more optimized and more efficient i have those videos in this dsa playlist those are very very critical do watch that because when we were covering avl tree we required balancing right so b tree is a self balancing mway search tree that allows searches accesses insertion and deletion operations in a log logarithmic time so this is the most efficient time when you want to do operations on tree data structure and in order to be a efficient tree it has to be self balanced or it has to be completely balanced so a b tree is again a m way search tree with two extra special properties so number one is it is perfectly balanced keep this in mind if you are making notes you can take a note of this one so basically every leaf node is at the same depth the next point is every node except the root node is at least half full that is it contains m by 2 or more values so we know since b tree is a m way search tree and let's say if m equals to 3 that would mean that one node can hold m minus 1 keys right the number of keys that one node can hold with m value 3 is m minus 1 which is equal to 2 so let's say this is node n1 it can hold two values let's say 11 and 22 so what this point is saying is every node except the root node is at least half full which means that this is valid and if you have a number over here then this is valid but let's say the m is 4 it would mean that we can have m minus 1 that is 3 keys and if a node has let's say one value and two spaces are empty in that node let's say this is n2 and two spaces are empty then this is not valid and it is not a b tree okay so this is the only differentiating factor between a b tree and a m way search tree because ultimately b tree is a m way tree b tree is a m way search tree with extra specialty which is related to the balancing now to clear this out more visually let's first take an example of a m way search tree okay so this is a m way search tree which is created using these values and we inserted all these values one by one from left to right we've already discussed insertion and deletion in m way search tree in previous video hence i said you should watch that to understand the process so when you create a mv search tree with m equals to 3 which means that it can hold two keys and it can have three child so you can see n1 has three children n2 n3 and n4 and it has two keys 12 and 23 so as the values came in 12 23 we inserted them when 6 came in we went to the left of n1 then came 8 8 8 got accumulated over here then came 15 15 is greater than 12 but smaller than 23 hence we created one new node in between them and this process got us a m way search tree which looks something like this now if you observe this tree is it balanced it's not balanced right because for n1 you can see that we have the height of the left subtree as h equals to 1 i'm talking about this subtree and it has to be h equals to 2 sorry it's not 1 it's 2 because for this left subtree that is for n1 what is the left subtree this whole part and the height is 2 because height is the longest distance between the root node of this left subtree which is n2 and the leaf node n7 right we have two links over here we go from n2 to n5 and we go from n5 to n7 so two hops are supposed to be made that is two levels we have to go down and we have to go on the longest path to calculate the height so height is 2 but for n1 what is the rst the right subtree is this part and the height over here is 0 correct because this is the rst and it is only a single stand alone node on the right hand side of n1 which means that the height is 0 so you can see if you subtract height of lst minus height of rst 
we will get 2 minus 0 which is equal to 2. So this is not balanced because the height is greater than 0. If it's perfectly balanced, the height of left subtree minus height of right subtree is always going to be 0. Okay. And this is only for perfectly balanced. So even though this is a M way search tree, it is still not very efficient because as and when more and more values get added up, it will become more and more skewed in one direction depending upon what the values are. And then the height between the left subtree and right subtree will keep on growing and that will introduce inefficiency when you want to access a particular value. We've also discussed how an unbalanced tree is more inefficient compared to a balanced tree, right? So now let's take these same numbers, same values and let's see how these same numbers will be represented in a B tree. Okay. So I would request you guys to just take a screenshot or just keep this diagram in mind because now I'm going to switch to a B tree which is made by these same values in same order but the structure is going to be different. Okay. Now this is the B tree with again M equals to 3 which means that the number of keys that one particular node will be storing is 2 which is M minus 1 and these are the same values but you can see now the structure is looking quite different and quite organized in a way and now you can clearly see that it is properly balanced as well. The numbers are same but the insertion process in a B tree is different compared to a, a MV tree or a MV search tree. We will discuss the insertion and deletion process in upcoming video. But right now we are just trying to understand how B tree is different compared to a MV search tree. So if you now calculate the height of left subtree, which is this one. So for N1, the left subtree is this. And for N1, the right subtree is this RST, correct? The height of LST is going to be one. The height of RST is also going to be one. You can easily calculate and make out what is the height over here. And if you take a subtraction between the two, of course, it is going to be zero. Correct? So this means that it is perfectly balanced. What about the other rules that we just discussed? So we saw that a B tree is a M way search tree with two special properties. One is perfectly balanced. So what about this rule? That is every node except the root node is at least half full. So let's take a look at the different nodes. So node N1 is the root node. How many number of keys can it store? Each node can store maximum two keys. How many are there currently in N1? We have one key. So it is half full, correct? Similarly, N2 is completely full. N3 is half full. N6 is full. N8 is full. N7, N5 and N4 are half full. Which means that every node except the root node is at least half full. Which means each node contains M by 2 values. So M is nothing but 2. M by 2 is equal to 2 by 2 which is equal to 1. So every node at least has one particular key inside it. So this condition is also true. Hence now you can say that this is a proper B tree. Okay. So this was the main difference between B tree and a MV search tree. Again to reiterate B tree is also a MV tree with two special properties. One of them is self balancing and the other one is that every node except the root node has to be at least half full. Okay. So this is much more efficient compared to the M way search tree because it is balanced. And just to give you an example with the existing two trees that we just saw again, switching back to M way tree. If you were to find the value five, starting from root node N1, you'll go to N2, you'll then go to N5 and then you'll go to N7, right? So you need one, two and three hops. But same, if you compare for B tree, let's say again, you want to search five in a B tree. In that case, you only need two hops. You will start from N1, you'll go to N2. From N2, you'll go to N5 and you've got your answer. So you can see more the imbalance of a tree, more time it is required to search or, you know, access a particular data value inside the tree. If the tree is perfectly balanced, the number of hops required or number of levels that you require to go find that number or find that key value is less, which means that it is faster. Okay, so lastly, just talking about the uses and you know, it's space and time complexity. We've already discussed what is space complexity, what is time complexity in two dedicated videos. Those are also very important. Please watch them. The time complexity for insertion, deletion and search operations takes O of log n time. And this is probably the more part. And this is highly efficient. For those who know what is time complexity, this is much more efficient compared to O of n that is linear time. Okay, so n is the number of keys stored in the tree, not the number of nodes, but the number of keys. Okay, the space complexity of a B tree is O of n, which is 
where n is the number of keys again not node but the actual number of keys inside every node and lastly to talk about its uses vtree is actually well suited for storage systems that read and write relatively large block of data such examples are databases and file systems and the reason why it is more suited is because the secondary storage for example your hard disk drive or ssd is much more slower with large capacity compared to your main memory like ram right so there was a need for such type of data structures that minimizes the disk access so structures like binary search tree avl tree etc can store only one key in a particular node but if you have to store a large number of keys then the height of such tree becomes very large right in a binary tree you can have one key per node but in a b tree you can have many number of keys in one single node and since b tree is also a balanced tree the access time is also very less i just demonstrated that in the previous example where we compared the access time was more in mv search tree compared to the b tree right so since b tree can store many keys in a single node and can have multiple child nodes this decreases the height significantly allowing faster disk access this is exactly what we just demonstrated in our two examples so this was a quick introduction guys to b tree uh you guys can note down these notes if you are taking them down for your exams or something like that just for theoretical purposes in the next video we will see the insertion process of b tree and also the deletion process compared to mv search tree okay because both of them are different because the self balancing factor operation has to be done in b tree okay so i'm going to wrap up this quick intro video over here i hope you understood what is b tree let me know in the comments if you understood this video if you have any queries give a thumbs up to this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one peace